Hello there, person. Let's check out what's new with Wraithbinder. Lots of uh, little improvements to um, the visibility of tiny things like numbers that appear above uh, entities when they get damaged or healed and um, like making the grenade and things like that more visible. Let's start out with these numbers here. I'm gonna pick up the sword, go hit these things. And now these numbers right here, they're, that appear above the things when they get damaged, those minus twos, those are actually a lot uh, more visible. First of all, they're bigger, they're using the medium font rather than the small font. Um, and second of all, they're just more white and black. They flash white and black, and they, um, which allows them to be more visible, even when we turn off all color. You can kind of see what, what's going on there. And um, also they stay on the screen a little bit longer, so it all kind of helps. It adds up to make that them just more visible. You can tell that they're there. Uh, the next thing is the grenades and all those kinds of things are more visible. So let's, um, let's turn on all abilities. And that's going to give me grenades and bow and all that kind of stuff real quickly. So we don't have to go earn all that stuff and level up. Now, I'm going to throw a grenade first off. Oops. <laughs> Shot the bow. Hey, let's throw the grenade. Whoops. I gotta learn what button the grenade is. It's not that one. There we go. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, that's... Gosh, I, re I remember all the stuff I did to, to that now. This is a really fun thing. This is a lot of cool animation going on in this. I'm gonna slow down time so we can see it really nice and slow. First of all, the grenade is flashing between uh, t my team color and dark, so that you really can kind of tell where it where it's at on the screen. The little object, it's a small object of the grenade, but now you can see a lot more visibly. There's a lot more cool animation going on there. Wow, it looks like I slowed down time enough that it uh, went way faster than the 2D effects, the 3D effect did. If you turn this back to normal time, you kind of get a feel for what it actually looks like. That um, looks like I did. I got to work on my notes, get those to be the right time scale when I slow down time. But oh, there we go. <clears throat> also, the grenade kind of shows, does a big old circle that shows approximately what the blast radius is. So that's kind of cool that it visibly communicates that blast radius now too. Um, let's also take a look at the bow. So the bow, I re-enabled the trail. For some reason I had lost out, um, my code had just been disabled for the trail of, of the, the arrow. So now we re-enabled that trail. Also I added some more particles to the trail and um, worked on making so the, the arrow itself also flashes. You can see it really well at this angle. See how the arrow is flashing as it moves through the air? We can slow down time and see it. A little bit clear and also the arrow is outlined in your player's color so all those things are contributing to make the arrows more visible on the screen um, and it's the same thing with the boomerang let's turn on uh, the boomerang for my character uh, since I'm using all abilities we can just disable the bow and boomerang will come on by default um, but that's only because I'm cheating to get all the abilities to start with in online play, my my uh, you'll be able to choose your build out. So you'll be able to like, oh, I want it, I want the boomerang versus the bow and things like that. You'll earn weapons, but for now, I've just kind of got it so you can set up which weapon is being used based on what's in my saves.txt file. So that's why I'm always going back to the saves.txt and editing things when I'm showing you things like this. So uh, the boomerang is also using that same technique where it's flashing flashing the team color as it's flying and it's also outlined with the team color so those two things are really contributing to making the boomerang more visible okay so now let's look at um, let's look at the one little improvement to the ability menu so now when I go to the ability menu it'll actually show the number of ability points that I have left over. So, starting off with no abilities, pick up the blade. Um, I'm gonna cheat to level up a bit. I got a whole bunch of levels on level four. 
I go to this menu here for the abilities and last week we covered this where it now pauses the game which is really cool um, but also the it's been a little bit improved where it shows like a uh, blade you can't you can't upgrade blade yet until you get to level six so that's why it's like got a red X and it's uh, halfway transparent but up there above blade we've got AP 3 that's the number of, of ability points I have so I can upgrade one of my abilities I can upgrade another one of my abilities and even get another one and then if I go back to that ability points menu it now says AP 0 so that's kind of neat. You can see that at a glance, what's going on. Oh, this brings me into the next cool thing we have here where you're healing. Um, so healing was something where, oops, that's because I'm on invincible. I'm invincible right now. So that's why I'm not actually getting healed. I'm not hurting enemies. So there we go. I turn off invisibility. And uh, you saw there, I was getting healed by the, the mender. This thing is called the mender. You can call it a healing pillar, you can call it whatever you want, but the technical name is a mender, it mends you. And uh, what um, before it was really not clear that this these things heal you, right? There was no vis visible um, way that it was showing that, except for the fact that you had a number up here above your head. And uh, that number wasn't as clear because it was uh, also a reddish number. So a lot of things have been done to improve that. So I'm going to go ahead and hurt myself. And you see there's a beam, there's a nice beam going on that's it's refilling my health. Also my health bar beneath my name in the middle of the screen there, it turns green while I'm being healed. And it's red while I'm being damaged. Also there's some particles, some plus signs being absorbed by my character. That, all, that helps. Also uh, when I'm being damaged, the blood is now red. So all, all things that are sort of damaging are now meant to be this reddish color. Even when I damage some of these pillars here, they're turning reddish. And when I get hurt, my actual character turns reddish as well. So there's a real nice distinction between red and green. Red doing damage, green doing healing. Uh, and this beam will follow you around within range. So as long as you're within range of the mender, if I go out of range, then the, the healing beam stops. But if I get back into range and I'm damaged, it'll heal me up. Also, there's a nice positive sound effect going on too. It's like a, it used to be just like a boop, boop. Now it's like boop, 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 as you're getting healed. So that helps too. Another thing is that the mender itself has a, uh, a nice uh, plus sign on it. So you can tell, oh, that's, if you associate pluses with positive and, um, and healing, then you're getting, this kind of indicates that it's a healing thing. Another thing too is that uh, there's always been these uh, red corner things in the corner of the screen that show that you've been hurt. Like when I get hurt, there's these reddish, bloodish looking things. Um, but now when you're being healed, it shows a greenish uh, vignette in the corner. So that, that helps to indicate that as well. And also the green and the healing is always sort of a glowing and um, uh, gradual and soft effect whereas the, um, the the hurting and the damaging is always a quick fast effect even the numbers that appear above your head they they jump up and down when you get hurt and uh, when you get healed they they just appear there nicely and they're green so so that's a lot of little things right little touches that all help to communicate that you're being damaged or you're being healed, but especially being healed here with by these mending towers, which I think is really going to help new players understand what the heck is going on. Because sometimes it can be pretty confusing, especially when you've got lots of abilities and there's lots of action and there's players on the screen and everything's going crazy. Like, what the heck is going on, right? That's this really helps it be clear that oh, I was just healed by my mender there for a bit. Um. So is there anything else that I wanted to share this week? I was looking through my uh, my Git log here. I think that's that's really the... Uh... Oh yeah, there's one last big thing for this week. And that's that uh, the, um, the UI is more distinct versus the rest of the game. So I have a... Oh, I have a GIF, I think, of this. Actually, that'll really show off what the heck's going on. 
But you can see right now that um, all of the UI items, including the baubles that show your health, the little orbs at the bottom of the screen, your your EXP bar at the bottom of the screen, the mini map in the corner there, the wraiths and the players in the top, and even your abilities on the left, they all have a, a highlight on top and a nice shadow on the bottom. And they're also colored your team color, which helps this all be a little bit more colorful and more distinct versus the background. They used to be all gray and there was no highlights or shadows, which really, uh, I don't know, with the, with the nice highlights and shadows and the nice color really helps it to pop off the screen and really appear different from the rest of the game. So let's take a look at that GIF. We can kind of see the before and after of it. Great finder art GIFs. Let's go to the latest GIF here. I guess the one. Let's make this big. Yeah, so here's before. You can see the the... UI is really gray, and then after, the UI is a lot more colorful and distinct. Pops off the screen. It's going to go back to the before here in a second. Okay, here's that before. See how gray it is? Even look, especially look at the top, the players up there. And then boom, afterwards, it's much more colorful and distinct. So, there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching this video, person. And uh, we'll catch you with some more updates making the game Wraith Binder later on. Alright, see ya.